So what is this class about? This is a class in the structure of information. So let's start with that term information. There's a lot of discussion, philosophical debate about what information is. You've heard that it's antelopes. You've heard that it's all sorts of things. For the purpose of this class, we're going to take a very simple definition of information. That is that information is any form of recorded communication that you care to store and deliver to people for whatever ends you have in your particular organization. So information is recorded communication. And as soon as you record communication, it can, it's amenable to being segmented, structured, and delivered in whatever way you need to to meet your ends. So that's information. Very simple discussion. It can be books, articles, text, video, sound, whatever it is you, you care to record. As long as it's preservable, as long as there's a detectable artifact, then it's information. So that's information. How about the structure of information? Well, from the perspective of this class, we're going to say that information can be structured. Information has uh, an inner form, an, uh, a way of being understood and taken apart, tagged, so that that structure can be manipulated, so that you can deliver that information, so that that information can serve whatever ends you have for that information. So information has structure, and we'll go through all the different kinds of structure. But the first kind of structure I want to introduce you to, because it's very fundamental, is the idea of an information item. An information item is one discrete, discrete chunk of information that we care to store, tag, and deliver. So we have items of information, and an information item might be, for example, a description of a building. So we have 12, 15, 5,000 descriptions of buildings. Each description of the building, that may include text and video and sound, whatever, is an item of information. So we have information, which is recorded communication, and we break that information down into separate items. So an item of information is one discrete chunk of information. Well, let me give you a few more definitions as well. The idea of a base of information, an information base. When you take a lot of items of information and collect them all together into one place so that you can effectively manage and deliver them, you've created a base of information. And frankly, from the standpoint of this class, it doesn't really matter where you collect them. You could collect them in a relational database. You could collect them in an XML file. You can collect them on napkins and put them in a drawer. When they're collected and segmented into different items, then they're a base of information. The importance of that idea of a base of information is that we care to create a base of information. A base of information that has a particular purpose, that serves particular kinds of audiences, and that can be used so that we get, as an organization or as individuals, what we want from that information. So that's the idea of a base of information. The next idea I want to present you with is the idea of the mechanics of information. If information has structure, then information can be manipulated. Information has a mechanics. There's a way that you can take apart information and put it back together again in the way that you need to in order that you can deliver it to the people that you want to deliver it to. So this is a class in the structure of information. We're going to learn about the different kinds of structure and we're going to figure out how we can programmatically manipulate that structure so that we can deliver the information to the people who need it. Finally, this is a class in the structure of information, particularly using XML. XML is the tool set that we're going to use in order to create the structure. XML is the tool set we're going to use in order to encode the structure. So XML is not the structure. XML is not the information. XML is the tool that we use in order that we can encode the structure that we've created or that we've detected inside the information so that it can be collected, managed, and delivered. 